Good afternoon, this is Bill Costanzo, Livestock Guardian Dog Research Specialist at the AgriLife Center in San Angelo. Today I just want to briefly speak with you about a product that we've been testing out. Uh, it's the Spot On Invisible Fence Collar from uh, Spot On Fence. The, uh, the collar comes in this nice box. Inside of the box uh, it is the tracking collar, and the, which is also the shock collar. Uh, a helpful user's guide. And then uh, oh, some extra electrodes, a charging station, and then uh, this handy little tool here that'll tell you if the, uh, the unit is actually working and shocking. And it also allows you to take the electrodes in and out of the collar to, to change sizes. So um, <clears throat> we've had this system for uh, about two months now that we've been testing out. I've, I've tested it out on my own livestock guardian dog, Brutus, here with me today. And then we've also been testing it out on one of the dogs at the center. The, uh, the units worked very well. Uh, it does have a, a GPS tracker built into it uh, that, that will uh, notify you anytime that the dog leaves the area that you set up. Uh, one of the nice things about this system is that you set up the fences and exclusion areas all on your own. They have a very easy to use phone app uh, that you can go in and draw out your pastures uh, and you can make as many pastures as you would like and they don't have to touch like some of the other invisible fence systems do and you can also set up exclusion zones inside of your fences. So for instance, if you have a barn or a specific area that you don't want your dog going into, you can keep them out of that uh, while they're still inside the geofence area for you. So um, setup time took me, uh, and you know I'm kind of technologically challenged, um, about 30 minutes roughly. And that was going through downloading the app, um, going through reading the instructions briefly, and then setting up a first uh, perimeter fence to, to test out. So uh, with that, I do want to go over just kind of briefly um, how we use the system at the center, uh, which may be a little bit different than most people use the system for. So the invisible fence systems that we're testing, both this one and invisible fence brand itself, uh, we're using with permanent fencing already installed. Uh, and we're using this to either keep dogs inside of a pasture or to retrain them to not leave a pasture. And so going along with that, um, retraining. So what's the easiest way to do this? Well, the easiest thing is, is to size your collar, install it on your guardian dog, and make sure that the electrodes that are inside uh, right here are, are actually able to touch the dog's skin. Uh, on a real longer haired dog like Brutus here, you may have to, to clip up the hair just a little bit um, to make sure that these electrodes make, make contact. And the collar does need to be fairly snug. Now, um, oh, one of the things is I'm sure everybody's going to ask me is about battery life. So depending on whether you have the GPS tracker installed or not uh, will kind of affect your battery life. Without the tracker, uh, we've been able to get about 22 to 23 hours of, of life out of this collar with the tracker uh, notifying us whenever the dog is, is, has left the area um, or at least come up to the area. Uh, we've been getting about 18 hours of battery life. And so one of the nice things is you will get an alert um, on your phone that the dog has left the area. And then you also get another alert uh, when the dog comes back into the area, if, if they've done that on their own. You also get battery alerts, which is really nice. Uh, you'll get them at uh, two hours before the battery is dead, an hour before the battery is dead, and then it'll let you know when the collar has shut down uh, altogether. So basically what I did to train Brutus here, um, hopefully he'll cooperate for us today on the video. Come on Brutus. Brutus, come on. Come on. And so I have the collar on Brutus and it'll make a tone. And so I would bring Brutus up to the fence line, it would tone, and then I would pull him away. Okay, and so I did that for about a half an hour with Brutus, um, moving him back and forth, letting him get toned, and then sometimes even letting him get shocked if he wanted to keep going and didn't want to stop. Uh, on the dog at the center, um, we did things a little different with that dog. He had been leaving a lot on his own. Uh, Brutus stays pretty much wherever I place him. The dog at the center, we just put the collar on him and decided to see what was going to happen. 
Uh, I can tell you with, with that dog right now, his name is Bobby. Uh, he has not been leaving the, the pasture and the set of pens um, with some goats that he's in. And so it's worked very, very well for us so far. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me at the AgriLife Center, or you can also go on to Spot On's website. They have a lot of great videos on there that show you how to use the collar and how to set it up. And, um, oh, I appreciate everybody for watching today. Thank you very much.